How do you explain a lease purchase to a seller? Hey everybody, this is Zachary Beach, smartrealestatecoach.com. Welcome to another Thursday Q&A. This is such a common question and it's this this explanation is so vital to the progress of your terms business. It's important that we get this thing right. So, how do you explain a lease purchase to a seller? super simple so pretend that you're speaking with a seller or i'll pretend that i'm speaking with a seller right now and i ask the question that's associated in our scripts which is hey mr seller or mrs seller if we could agree upon a price would you be open to selling your property on a lease purchase or with some other terms and the seller says what's a lease purchase well your answer then would be well mr and mrs seller a lease purchase is real simple. It means that you and I will agree upon a price today. I will then take over 100% of the responsibilities of the property for a period of time. Uh, if you have a mortgage, I'd be taking over the mortgage payment, uh, taxes and insurance, any and all future repairs, any and all responsibilities, including maintenance. Then, Mr. and Ms. Seller, we're gonna agree upon a definitive end date in the future in which you're both comfortable on or before that date, I'm then gonna cash you out. Nothing more than a delayed cash sale. That is the simple explanation for a lease purchase. Now, if you're feeling good today and you want a more advanced version of the explanation, well, then you can include an example throughout the process. So this is again for next level. Stick to the first. And then if you're feeling advanced, let's go ahead and dive in further. So let's rewind it back. And we're going to start from the original question. The seller then says, what's the lease purchase? Then you can then say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, let me just ask you a couple questions first. And then I'll use your property and your numbers as the example. That way you can best explain uh, this to you. And that way you fully dialed into the process. Uh, Mr. Seller, uh, could you tell me roughly about what you're looking for for a purchase price? In this example, let's just assume it's 400000 Then you say, can I assume that there's a mortgage on this property? And the seller says, yes, you can. And you would ask, roughly how much is that mortgage? Mortgage balance. Now let's say they say 250000 Okay, great. And roughly how much is that monthly payment? And they say $1,500. Well, Mr. Seller, does that include taxes and insurance? Yes, it does. Perfect. <laughs> so now the advanced explanation is this. Mr. Seller, using your numbers, a lease purchase would look like this. Let's say we would first agree upon a price. Let's just, for this example, using your numbers, 400000 Say we're going to agree upon 400000 today. I'm going to then take over any and all responsibilities associated with the property which is the $1,500 a month plus anything else that's, that's uh, going to show up as far as maintenance. During that process, we're going to lock in that set amount of equity that we agreed upon, which is the difference between the $400,000 and the $250,000 mortgage, which is $150,000 in equity. So we're going to lock that in. I'm going to take over for responsibility. And then let's say uh, on or before, say 48 months. Um, let's say if we agree about that, agree upon that on or before that 48 months, what's going to then happen is we're going to then cash out, meaning it's going to turn to a traditional sale at that time. We're then going to pay off the remaining balance of your mortgage. And we're going to be giving you that 150,000 equity that we locked in. Again, Mr. Seller, the best way to look at this is nothing more than a delayed cash sale. So guys, I hope you got a ton out of both the simple and the advanced version of this also if you notice the advanced version allows you to ask some questions which may you may feel uncomfortable about which is mortgage balance and monthly payment now you are not uh intruding on the seller's personal life but you're asking for the information that way you can explain it in more in depth so a great way uh to be able to grab the mortgage information as well mm -hmm.